Hey guys, today I like to do another updates on my garden, and because uh, I'm very excited because I have a lot of new things that I grow, I uh, purchased since my last video. So uh, let's go ahead and kind of show you that. Uh, first, first of all, you see uh, I'm trying to extend my uh, greenhouse here and kind of block this area over this side right here so that uh, people don't steal my fruits like they did last year. So, uh, so. I'm going to get that done soon. Uh, let's start over here. This is where the most interesting uh, things, uh, you know, fruit trees and all that, tropical fruits. Uh, this is one of my uh, lychees. Uh, yeah, it's Kaimana lychee. Uh, this is my second year owning these trees, and uh, I tried a few areas a couple times already. As you can see here, it didn't work, so I have to cut that off, throw it away. I tried a second one about a month ago. Let's see, uh, yeah, about uh, three weeks ago. Yeah, no, a month ago, so uh, it's still green, so hopefully that's that's good. We got some uh, Tabasco peppers, some pumpkin seedlings, habanero peppers. For some reason, my... Uh, my tea plants that I purchased from Lodges never did anything good. Uh, it's barely surviving. Over here, this is my new fruit trees that I purchased online. It's canistel egg fruits. Uh, bought it probably a month and a half ago. And uh, it might take a few years before I can see any fruit from it. This is uh, Basta oleaster. In Vietnam, we call them Cagnoc. And last year is about this size, and now it's uh, it's kind of twice the height. So I'm, I'm, I'm eager to uh, eat this fruit because I never eat this one before. Uh, my Australian beet cherry finally started to flower. It's probably not going to make any fruit this year, but I see some flowers, so that's a good sign. And over here, this is my uh, Anona. Maricara is, uh, is one of those uh, similar to Cherry Moya. Uh, with Vietnam, it's called a Mango. And, uh, and this is my second year on these trees right here. And it's doing really nice. See a lot of new growth here. Young new growth. All new growth, so that's good. And yeah, this is a very hard trees to do earlier. I might have, anybody know how to do it right? Let me know, because I tried a few times and it, it died. So, this is my Colomondine uh, orange, it's very sour. Over this side right here, I have my, uh, my uh, let me see, Cac Mango. Yeah, uh, this is my second year on these trees. Last year, it flowered, didn't make any uh, fruit from it. This year we get some more flower here. I don't know if we're gonna make it. It looks like a small fruit here. Uh, I, I doubt we're gonna make any fruits from it. And maybe over this side right here we see some more young uh, mangoes here. I try earlier again. I did it one time over here. As you can see here, it didn't work. Let me show you what that is. Dry down and die. So, so I tried again, and the reason is that this particular mango I purchased online. Actually, any trees that I own here is pretty expensive. By the time we get to you, shipping and all, it might cost you $100. So I want to air layer to see if I, in case it, it died out, I can still have a lot of trees, you know, from it. And this is my Sri Kambangan stuff fruits. Uh, last year I had a really nice harvest from it. Actually, my uh, in-laws had a really, really nice harvest. They came out down one day and they wiped my star fruit and I was kind of upset about it, but so uh, I see a lot of new growth going, starting to come out here. And this, this might be a flower as well. And I try to do some air layers here and look like it's, it might work because uh, when you're doing air layers, I realize that you see any young growth coming out from that air layers part, that means it's, it's working. See, you see some young growth here, so that's good. I got a bunch of more fruit trees over here. This is my Mexican guava. Uh, it looks pretty terrible right now. Most of the leaves are falling off. 
hopefully I get some more new growth from this this year. But uh, imagine this right here. Let me pull this a little bit backward. See this all this tall uh, the growth. Last year is about that high right there. And taking one year and guava grow really quick. And over here, my uh, Barbados cherries. I had a couple of successful air layer from this. And this is my other one right here that I started in January 7th. And it's these nice and green still, so that's, that's a good sign. All right, so uh, moving over here. This is my Thai Gava. I don't know if you can see with all this uh, shadows. Uh, yeah, once again, the Gava seems like it doesn't do well in the winter. But uh, I see new growth here. This is one of my air layers, the same date, January 7, 17. So I try to dig it out, see if any root from it. But I haven't seen any yet, but uh, so when I see new growth like this, that means it's good. And here's my uh, gooseberry. Uh, this is not the, the American gooseberry. This is Asian uh, tropical gooseberry. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But uh, I miss this fruit so much. It's been a while before I, that I haven't had this. So, uh, And uh, you see here it's growing very well. Nice and tall, about seven feet tall. And uh, I had a, one successful earlier from it, and I'll show you later. And this one is doing pretty good as well. Let me move over here. Let me show you. It has some roots from it. It's uh, very small roots right here. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, see that? Those are small roots, and I'm going to let it uh, root out really some more before I can cut them. All right, so. This area right here, I got a lot of fruit trees and I'm planting a lot of new trees, so... But, uh, moving over here, I have some uh, cherry tomatoes, some uh, blackberries, raspberry, some more raspberry. Let me turn over here while we're here. Uh, this is my strawberry trees. Uh, you can see strawberry trees, and uh, I had uh, a few fruit from last year. Like some small fruit right here. Uh, it tastes like caviar. It has a texture like caviar. Uh, it's like uh, in Vietnam we call them uh, fish eggs uh, fruit because it has a lot of tiny sea uh, eggs like textures inside. Uh, here's one of my wax jambu. This is my black pearl wax jambu. It doesn't do them pretty good right now. Let me see if I can move this out of here. Yeah, this is my. Most of the leaf are falling off, but I see small new growth coming out here, so that's that's a good sign too. And here's my auto wax shampoo. This is my Kong White wax shampoo. And I believe I had one good air layer from that. Yeah, so down here I got some uh, red dragon fruits. Nah, it's not the skin is red, the inside is red. So I purchased online, street cuttings online, and uh, it was like that. And now you see you need some new new growth here, some new growth here. Here's my uh, June plum. Uh, I see a lot of new flowers. This is inside a greenhouse here. And now here's I have a black peppers plants. And wow, it's been two years and it not it don't it doesn't take off so. Here's my uh, Jabodikaba. Jabodikaba, and I did an air layer over here. I don't know what's going on here. But it's still green, so hopefully that will give me another Jabodikaba plant. And when I get one, I'll probably plant it in the ground. And I'll probably cover it up in the winter well. Okay, over here we got some more cherry tomatoes, some volunteer Tabasco peppers. Uh, I have some, uh, this is my uh, Shenshiki pear. I did the L layer uh, about a month ago. And I want to show you what that looked like. So that's my Shenshiki pear. And I did successfully uh, graph uh, uh, Orient pears. It's another type of pear into it, as you can see here. It's doing really nice. 
and that's good. That's a lot of columnadines from my lodges outcomes. This is my tamarind trees, tamarinds, and my Australian finger limes. That's my Australian finger limes, and that is my uh, noni. Uh, I had a really bad um, uh, aphids problem last spring, the winter in the greenhouse, so uh, it kind of eat a lot of them from my noni plants, so it, it looked like struggling, but here's my, uh, uh, let's see, ma, Maha Chinooks mangoes. This is the only mango trees I had three mangoes fruit last year, but none of them I was able to eat them because somebody stole them from me. And here's, look like it's not a, no good uh, air layers. So. I don't know, I, I, I did what I normally did to the other layer layers, but mango, it seems like it's hard to do air layers or grafting. And this is my uh, long arms. That's the second year I own, and uh, doing pretty well. This last year is about that tall. So, and all right, so let me move over here. This is my Hanshui pear. It's uh, still early for still having still in dormancy stage so but uh, I see some flowers here over there and here I did a successfully uh, uh, graph uh, another type of shinshiki pears it look like new growth going out so that's pretty good that's a really nice hue right here and down here I'm starting to do a permaculture way, so I plant a lot of stuff around the trees here. I got some currants, you know, some uh, squash, zucchini, some uh, arona berries, uh, those are tomatillo. All right, so over here, my sugar canes are coming back out because I had a really cold winter, kind of struggle a little bit. Uh, that's my uh, brown select. Uh, Washington uh, orange and this is my new uh, fall ways uh, graph uh, uh, pluot and I'm very excited about that hopefully next year I get some pluot from it and here I got uh, flavor queen flavor kings uh, dapple dandy apples I mean pluots and uh, flavor supreme pluot so uh, that's the first year growth I've been playing this about January 28 so you can see now it's a lot of new growth going out. And here's my uh, Bruce plum. It's the plum, the peach, the flower is so beautiful, you know. That's what I love about these uh, stone uh, fruit uh, trees, you know, they flower really nice. Here's another bug, so I don't know what that is. Can somebody tell me what that is? Uh oh, he ran away. But Bruce plum, uh, I have problem. Uh, uh, the first year I had a few fruit from it. And ever since then, it seems like it doesn't, I don't get any fruit from it. And the one thing I noticed that I don't see any bees come to pollinate it, so that might be the problem. Anyway, I just successfully graph a, a dapple dandy blue out to it on about a month or two months ago. And you can see here, new growth going out, so, so that's good. Looks like maybe we might have some aphid here. All right. Alright, let's move over here. This is my one of my new trees as well. This is my uh, flavor grenade bluet. And once again, I play it in January 28. Nice and new growth. My Alberta peach. This year I have a uh, not going to get a good harvest because I, I pruned it too much. And I actually pruned a lot of flower off, so I might get about 10 fruit if I, I'm lucky, but is one of them right now. See that's a that's a peach right there. And here's my new nectarine as well. And this is a double delight nectarine. And you see I have a few fruit here. And you're supposed to pick them up uh, the first year to have give, give the plant some healthy growth. But uh, I tell you what, I gotta I gotta have a few fruit before I, in case it died out because I had one 
Nectarine died out on me after the fourth year, so I'm very upset about that. All right, let me move over here. You see this area right here? I started this year to grow some dragon fruits, and what I did is I uh, put the post uh, down in the ground and then cut the bottom of the container, fill up some soil, so hopefully by the time the dragon fruit uh, root system grow big enough, they grow through the soil, so it give them more nutrients and stuff like that. So here I got uh, some more dragon fruits that grow on here. I had this about a month and a half ago. I have about five containers, so I'm, I'm planning to do a lot more all the way over there. Here's my persimmons, it's still in dormancy stage. Over here is one of my pears, my uh, orient pears. And I'm very uh, excited about this two right here. It's my uh, royal leaves and uh, mini royal cherries. What I did, I took a lot of uh, uh, logs that I have and put them together, fill some soil and plant them uh, because uh, in the raining season, it can be really wet down here for quite a long time. So. Uh, I know that uh, I bought two of them last time and uh, they die out because of probably root rots. So, and that side I just have a new uh, apricot tree, is that Katie apricots? So that's not much interesting over there, so let me move over here. I have some uh, uh, Thai uh, uh, corns, the sweet uh, sticky corns. Got some Logan berries. Some more squash, zucchinis. This is my new plans as well for this year. Uh, this is my four ways apple graph apple trees. Uh, I had it. Um, I had a golden apple, a golden dorset apple, an Anna apples, and then a Fuji apple. So hopefully I can get to different flowers to pollinate my apple trees I have over there. I grow there six years already, five years. Still haven't had any apple from it, so maybe pollinating problems. And here's my new as well. This is my new cherry trees too. This is lapping cherries. This is my new cherries. And it's about I planted about a month and a half ago, so that's very really good. So let me move over to this side right here. Alright, so let's move over this side right here. I got a lot of new ceilings and stuff like that. And here, that's my greenhouse. Alright, some more ceilings, some more tomato ceilings. Some cucumber, some Indian gherkin cucumber over there. And this is my goji berries. So I did a little of uh, bamboo trellis over here, that's for my uh, cucumbers. And here I uh, swing a few lines over and I let my uh, purple passion fruit grow out here and hopefully cover this area so in the summer I can get some shade. Alright, so uh, let's go over this side right here, I got a lot of new ceilings over here. And if I go here, I got my kiwis. That's my kiwi for the first years, and it, did, it does flowering right now, but I doubt we have some fruit too, too young for it. And over that side right here, Mary, I want to show you. Uh, I purchased this from Costco um, about what three weeks ago, and this is my nectarine trees. This is my one of my new nectarine trees, and look how tall that is. It's about 10 feet tall and I purchased for $16 so that's that's really nice and that's, uh, this is my two avocado trees uh, I believe this is uh, let's see what kind of this is uh, purchased from Stein so I have a Joey avocado and I have a fantastic avocado so this is pretty new planted about a month ago in a container and over here, this is my garden. This is my vegetable garden area. You can see here my uh, my Roman lettuce. They're all over the place. 
everywhere. I eat them, I give them away. Still can't eat them all. I got some uh, Napa cabbage and then my uh, strawberry beds right here. I just grow for the first years and look like one of my strawberry is ripening already here. And I'm gonna pick it before uh, the slug does, so. All right. And, uh, so here I have a pomegranate trees. It's flowering pretty, pretty healthy right now. Uh, but I haven't had a really good pomegranate from it. It seems like the fruit uh, get disease or something, so it's kind of spoiled inside, so I don't know. Here I had some more Napa cabbage. Uh, some more funnels right here that I grow. Some Chinese green, uh, green uh, radish. Let me show you how that looks. As you can see here, see how that radish is nice and green. So I should be able to harvest it really soon right now. Over here I got some uh, a lot of flower seedings I started. I got some sun gold tomato, some regular super taste tomatoes, some new vines of, uh, uh, of uh, grapes, more sun gold tomatoes. And I put it along the fence so uh, I'm going to put a line down kind of give it a little trellis going up. And here I got some potatoes, some blue potatoes, some red potatoes, some strawberry. And this is my one of my uh, hookah culture raised bed. Um, I put a lot of uh, woods and logs down at the bottoms. And it's only one year old, so it might take a couple years before it rot down and become really nice and healthy. And here's one of my new uh, nectarine as well. I planted this about a month ago. And this is uh, Texas Stars. Uh, no, this is a peach tree, not a nectarine. Texas Stars, and once again, I bought this the same from Costco, and they, for $16. It's pretty cheap for the size of that trees. Oh, this side right here, we got some more. We got uh, our chives. This is a red Mizuna. It's getting hot now, so it's starting to flower. Now let me move over here, let me show you this. This is my uh, mustard green. And I know I had, I already harvest a lot of leaves already, but it's starting to flower a lot. And you can see here the bees love it. You see I can get you, see them bees, they love them. So I, I want to leave for the bees. And it's pretty as well, I mean them, them flowers, they're pretty. And down here I get some uh, elephant ears garlics, regular garlics, uh, some, Water spinach starting to come out, and chrysanthemum, the edible kind, and some Italian parsley. Over here, this is my uh, sunflowers. This is the volunteer, the flower seed falling off last year, and then it's starting to grow really nice. I got some blue lake uh, beans. And then over this side right here, I got a few rays, I mean a few container here. I have uh, uh, bread, Mexican beans. I started to grow some porcelain. Uh, I, I was told that you could eat them. I used to think that they were weeds. So anyway, I grow them, see if I can taste what it tastes like. My, uh, I love my French soil. Uh, it's perennial, grow all year round. You don't worry about the cold. And it eat really nice. Uh, it tastes like a little sour, but it's nice and it's good for your health. And over there, I got some uh, some strawberry, some uh, quinoa strawberry. This is my new fruit trees as well. This is my uh, figs, dessert figs. Uh, Planted about what uh, January 22nd. It has one little fig right here. I'm gonna leave it so you can, you can taste a uh, taste of it this year. Some more French sorrel. And over this side right here, this is my persimmon trees. This is my Fuyu persimmons. This is second years. The leaves are starting to come out and you see them are flowers. These are flowers. And my blueberry here, this is my second year's, third year's blueberry. And I harvest uh, one season already. This is my second season. So I got a really good amount of blueberries here. 
I'm planning to grow some more next year. All right. So let me walk over here. A lot of my dragon fruit that I cut, and I throw them over here. So let me move over here. Let me go inside my greenhouse, show you what I have in the greenhouse. Well, so. All right. So inside my greenhouse, uh, this is my miracle fruits. Look like it has some fruit. And this is some fruit now. That's a really good harvest season last year. My star fruits. This is my cinnamon plants. It's growing really slow, but uh, it's still healthy. And down here we got some uh, Edgar uh, dragon fruit. Uh, the, the flesh is purple. And I, I, I cut one from here and I plant over here. And it looks like it's, it's not going to make it. But anyway, uh, this is my new tropical fruits right here. This is a Spanish line, purchased online. Uh, it will take a few years. And uh, I know that the cherry moya, they're easy to start from seed. You know, I purchased it and eat the fruit, and then I put, I grow from seeds, and they more, like 90% of them uh, successfully grow from it. So I have a bunch of uh, cherry moya seedlings here. I believe that's my Shangri-La uh, cuttings, um, black mulberry. Uh, I purchased about a month and a half ago. And some more star fruits over here. This one is in the ground. And you can see down there, those are not uh, creeping charlies, those are pennyworth. I've been harvesting and eating them all. They grow all over my greenhouse here. And over here, I have my lychee. This is my Brewster lychee. And if anybody expert with lychee, can you tell me why uh, my leaves is always turning brown? When they new growth, they look nice and healthy, and then it, after a while, it, it's turning brown. So let me know about it if anybody knows. This is my Nam Dok Mai mangoes. And this is my second season I own it. This, you can see here, this is new growth right here. See that? That is the new growth. So, that's a one year growth. So, I tried a few air layer, and once again, I did not able to make the air layer from uh, mango. So, and over here, this is one of my wax shampoo. This is the green one, I believe. And this air layer is, is working, the root is coming. I can see the roots already, but they're not full yet, so. All right. And that's my coconut trees. Over this side right here, I have a lot of uh, cherry tomatoes. Those are sun gold cherry tomatoes. And, and I have a black purple cherry tomatoes right here. I have some cherry tomatoes already. You can see there, it's very little right now, but they're coming and that is my gooseberry I told you about earlier that's my successful uh, air layer so I plant in the raised bed here in the greenhouse and that is one of my successful but beta cherries uh, air layer All right. and this is Vietnamese uh, sugar apples uh, the leaves are starting to come back out uh, it doesn't it doesn't like the cold, so it goes to sleep for a long time. Now it's starting to come out. This is my star fruits. Uh, no, star apples. Yeah, I did two air layer. One of them is actually uh, coming good here. I see some nice uh, little roots right here. I'm going to wait for a little while before I can cut that and plant it in the container. This is my dragon fruits. I cut a lot of that off. I trim a lot of them. Because it's growing everywhere. My jackfruits, you see that? That's a jackfruit, but I don't believe that's going to make it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall off. Uh, it does many times. And over here, that's my Vietnamese uh, gore, Asian gore, and uh, it's in March. And I already have some gore coming, growing already, so it's been in the greenhouse for a while, so. So I let it grow outside into that trellis over there. And this is one of my new fruit that uh, just fruiting this year. That's my pineapples. I 
grow that. That's my second year and it fruit. And that's one over there as well. That's another pineapple. And one down there as well. There's one down there. So I have three pineapple this year. And this is my uh, papaya. I cut it yesterday, so so hopefully I can get some more shoot coming out here because it's starting to grow over my greenhouse like that one does. And I cut it a little bit. Anyway, turn over to the left here. Uh, this is my cacao, chocolate trees, it's second years, and it's doing really nice. It's slow growing, but uh, it's doing really nice. And this is my papaya trees right here. I grown since 2015, and I've been harvesting a lot of green papaya. But yesterday I harvested a, a really ripened uh, papaya already, and it's starting to take over all over my greenhouse here. So I need to harvest them cut them back and let them regrow and look look this I'm so excited about this because this is uh, my passion fruit grown everywhere and imagine last year I don't know if you follow my videos it's that much and it took one year to grow everywhere and guess what I have my first passion fruit ever I don't know if you can see here that's my first passion fruit that's the purple passion fruit and the flowers are beautiful you see this so passion fruit flowers, they flower everywhere. So I should have, actually I never ate the passion fruit before, so that's, I should have my first passion fruit. Here's one of my tomatoes in the greenhouse, so it's doing really good right now. That's my other cacao plants and some more cherry moya ceilings. Let me move over this side right here. There's a few more plants and that's it. It's kaffa lime. It's my kaffa limes in the containers. And over here I have some uh, elephant's uh, ears, the edible kind. Let me move over here. I tried to graft a lot of uh, mangoes to this and they seem to die down. I realized that you have to cover them with some plastic so it don't dry it out. So. And you see here, that's not a fair one. And I tried it again about a couple weeks ago, and I coupled with this, it looked like inside still nice and green. So let me tell you what, let me take it out. Let me put it right here, take it out, see if I, I can show you how it looked like. I took an advice from the guy in, in the, on Facebook. He said he needs to cover it, and it looked like it's still nice and green. And let me see if I can move over here. See, it's still nice and green, and look like it might have some growth here as well. So hopefully, hopefully I should. Hopefully this this graph should make it. Let me cover it back. And this is actually the cac mango that I grafted here. And this is the I grafted to the mango that I grow from seeds. And this mango is like six years already, and it never fruits. So. I, why not use a, a good, uh, you know, rootstock and grab some good uh, mango from it? You see, I, I put, I grow it in the ground here. So, and over here, that's the, one of the mangoes going up here. I'm gonna cut that and, and then graft it again. And this is my uh, my other banana trees. That's second years. The first year is about that tall. Now it's second years, and you see it has some babies over here. All right, so I go over here. This is my black Surinam cherries. And yeah, I got one black Surinam cherry right here. Uh, it should start cherry, uh, producing more cherries. I see some more flower right here. I don't know if you can tell. But when it get warm, the, the Surinam cherry light warm, so. Over here, I got a lot of, uh, this is double Mahoy uh, bananas. I got a lot of new babies, bananas here. And this one is the second year, and I'll tell you what, this is only second year, and it's so big. And hopefully I can get some bananas from this. Alright. Alright guys, other than that, I I guess that's it. this is it. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy the videos. And uh, you know what to do. And uh, I'll, get, I'll, I'll keep uh, putting uh, updates videos of my god so I'll see you again